What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome back for some more Fire Mom Heroes and today I'll be taking on Hector's Legendary Hero Battle and I'll be giving you guys 3 Infernal Solutions and also a Lunatic Solution at the end. So my first solution has got free to play units and a Nino. This solution does not have any sort of skill intents and if you do not have a Nino then you can use a similar offensive mage who has got drawback. Drawback is definitely necessary. She's got S support with Jafar but he's not on this battle. So it doesn't really matter and my Nino is plus attack minus HP IV but any IV Nino I think should work at 4 star rarity as long as she's not minus attack or minus speed and if you find yourself missing any sort of power you can make use of your slotty skill or sacred seal and you can actually use a 5 star Nino as well but if your Nino is really powerful at 5 star rarity then you will have to tone down um, some of her power by unequipping stuff like Fury and maybe give her a weaker weapon because I did try this out with my 5 star Nino and I had to tone her down a bit and it did work out and then I've got Olivia uh, make sure you give her home speed 1 secret seal pretty nice with a blade tome unit and then I've got Legendary Ike make sure to give him threaten speed 1 secret seal because he needs this um, to double a axe cavalier in the map you can even give him speed plus 3 secret seal actually and uh, I guess you can even run Axe Breaker on slot B. It shouldn't really affect a lot of things. Um, but don't quote me on that. I have not tested that out. And then I've got Finn at last with Crooker Post. And he's really powerful with his Brave Lance. And uh, he's going to be pretty useful. He's actually going to be utilizing his Miracle as well. And if you do not have Finn, I guess you can use someone like Legendary Ephraim. Because he'll be able to heal himself up. So you won't even need Miracle. But if you want to use any other... Um, Lance Cavalier then I guess you will need to make sure that they have got Brave Lance and Miracle at least um, So that's gonna be my team and let's begin with the Infernal difficulty So this legendary battle is not as overwhelming as Rayoma's legendary hero battle, but still it does have reinforcements and uh, <laughs> Hector is bored I guess on sitting on throne and now he's gonna completely annihilate these units by spamming reinforcements Okay so let's just attack this uh, Lance Flyer for free and the units of uh, this map will not start to move unless you bait them out. So that's why you have to attack them and then you can just retreat with Nino's drawback so that's why it's really useful. So if you're using any other green offensive mage in place of Nino make sure she has got drawback. And let's end our turn. Now if you've got a 5 star Nino make sure to not kill this uh, Lance Flyer because if you kill this Lance Flyer, then Reinforcement will pop up and that will be that Lance Fighter over here. So the Reinforcements on this map um, do not come up on a certain turn. They come up when you kill uh, one of these original units that you start this map with. So that's why you have to keep that in mind and not just recklessly just kill everyone because then you're gonna get spammed with uh, Reinforcements. So this Green Cavalier is gonna live because he did have Fury. Finn is going to do pretty good damage to this um, Sword Cavalier. He does have Auto Attack Wave and Glimmer, Vantage. Pretty nasty stuff, so let's take him out with uh, Nino. And Finn can just attack this Green Cavalier. He does get the Defense Tactic buff from Legendary Ike, and that is extremely useful. Um, so let's just have Nino over here. So make sure you... Um, not kill certain enemies if you do not want to get overwhelmed by reinforcements. I could have easily killed this Lance Flyer actually uh, by giving my Olivia Spur attack sacred seal. And I did try that when I was trying to figure out the solution but I just want to keep him alive because I do not want that extra reinforcement. So let's just attack this both fighter. And let's take him out with Nino. Unfortunately, Finn does not take out this red mage, so we'll just attack him. This red mage does have pass. Usually, uh, when these units spawn from these kind of corners, they will always have pass. So that can definitely throw you off. So let's take him out. And Finn can easily take hits from this brave sword fighter. Yeah, so this guy is gonna panic ploy our units, which is pretty bad for a blade tome unit. And here you need Threaten Speed, so we're gonna Threaten Speed this Axe Cavalier and now I can double him and take him out. You can even have Speed plus 3 um, Sacred Seal on Ike to do this. And let's just have Ike in the safe area. Uh, this Green Mana Key is gonna get spawned here. She's not really all that big of a threat um, because she does not have Lightning Breath, but still she's quite bulky with that Water Breath. 
and a Sun defense. Um, so now we can finally kill this Lance Flyer. I've been saving him uh, because I didn't really want that reinforcement. And now I want to kill him because we are in this position where the reinforcement is going to get spawned. So we can easily take care um, of that guy. Yeah, so this Lance Fighter is going to get spawned here because we took out his Lance Flyer buddy. And he does have Obstruct, so that is definitely annoying. But after a hit from Nino, he's going to lose that Obstruct and you can just take him out. And Finn can easily attack the Sword Fighter. Um, he's going to be surviving the Bonfire with Miracle. And this guy cannot damage my Finn because I've got the Weapon Strangle advantage and 40 defense, which is a lot. So Finn is quite useful actually on this map. I won't lose. Do my best. Okay. We must make haste. And here we can just take out this Lance Knight. This guy does not even have okay. Weary Fighter. It definitely surprised me because okay. they definitely like to spam Weary Fighter on Where these kinds of what next? on these kinds of armor this. units in Legendary Hero Battles. And now we have separated this Mana Keep from Hector pretty easily. S sure. So we can just Let's have... Yes. Do my best. I take him on, or take her on actually. It's a female Mana Keep. We only have female Mana Keeps in this game. We do not have a male Mana Keep. We do not have Bantu for some reason. We must make Probably gonna happen in like two years from now. Um, I could put Ike in the range of Hector, but I'll do that the next turn. He's gonna get his speed reduced. Doesn't really matter. And all of his buddies are down, so he cannot really make use of the uh, Thunder Armads. I won't lose. And I want to take him out with Hector, but I'll do that with Nino. So that is going to be my first Inferno solution with uh, free to play units and Nino. This didn't really have Brave Lynn. Brave Lynn is super good for this map, so let's move on to our second solution. For my second Inferno solution, I'm going to be using a team with Brave Lynn. And uh, Brave Lynn is super good on this map. Shoots down all of the flyers, takes down pretty much all of the units except for that uh, bow fighter. And she's here with her neutral IVs. She's got a support with Reinhardt, but he's not on this map, so it doesn't really matter. And... Uh, I've got Olivia with Spur Attack 1. Make sure you give this to your Olivia. Unless you've got a plus attack Brave Lynn, then you don't really need Spur Attack. We mainly need Spur Attack to um, build up our special uh, for a certain turn. And then I've got Bars for reposition. He is a recent free to play unit who was given away uh, from those special maps. And if you do not have him, then you can try to use a similar Green Axe unit who has got reposition. Uh, but if you've got some kind of speedy unit, then I think the AI movement will change. I've not really tested that out, so don't quote me on that. But the thing is that this map is so huge that you can easily improvise um, on this map. And like I said, be very careful on killing these units because these units will spawn reinforcements. So if you want to delay certain reinforcements, then just put off killing one of these units like I did in my previous solution. And then I've got Legendary Ike. You just need to give him Crooked Post Sacred Seal. I think version 2 at most should work. Um, you don't really need version 3. So let's begin with the Infernal There's Difficulty. No Brevelyn can just shoot down one of those flyers and get a pretty good start on this map. Alright, okay. so we're just going to be having these three units over here. And this Green Cavalier does have speed ploy but it doesn't really matter because we one shot this guy. And you basically need bars for that reposition. And he's also useful for taking on that Lance Flyer later on, as you guys will see. So this guy's gonna spawn up because we took out that Sword Flyer. As I've said before, the reinforcements are based on the units you take out. And this Sword Cavalier will get one round killed by Ike. Ike is so good on this map because he can self-sustain himself with Aether. And here we're just going to be taking out this red mage. I could shoot down this uh, lance flyer, but it's not really worth it. Just like my previous solution, I am going to keep him alive because I do not want that lance fighter spawning up on the right side of the map. So I'm just going to take these hits. This guy is not really that big of a threat because he does not have a very high attack. And he only has like steady stance on his slot A. 
And here, we're gonna be attacking Hector because we want to charge up special on Brave Lynn for taking out this uh, bow fighter two turns later. So we're gonna take care of him. Hector probably would have loved to fight a tough dude like Ike. And now we're gonna be baiting out this Green Cavalier with Ike. This guy does do quite a lot of damage, actually, to Ike, even after the Warding Breath. And now, what I can do, do is uh, just use Reposition Let's move. and attack this bow fighter. And you need your special on Braveland to take out this guy. So that's why you need to charge up your special. And okay. that's basically why you need Spur Attack on your Olivia, so that you can build up your charge on Hector. Now, I could just finish this off right here because I could attack this guy and then he's gonna get finished off in enemy phase by attacking me. And this Axe Cavalier is gonna attack my Ike and he's also gonna get one round killed because my Ike is in the range of Quick Repose 3. But still, I'm just gonna be prolonging this for the people who do not have Quick Repose 3. Um, so yeah, Ike is gonna take him out. If he did not have um, Quick Repose 3, then that guy is gonna be alive. And you can just take him out by using Ike. Yes. And here you just have to attack this green mana heat. And I'm not gonna be moving my Ike um, because I'm assuming yep. if you do not have Quick Repose 3, then you will have to finish off that Axe Cavalier. All right. The enemy. Okay. Let's move. And we're just gonna be moving over here because this guy's gonna get spawned because we took out that lance flyer yes S sure stay close let's do it i won't lose this armor dnet is absolutely no problem yep. all right what next okay he's going to move there because he's after ike yes. um i guess i'll have to move over here I messed up a bit. Stay close. All right, and sure, the enemy. we will just have to wait for one more turn, I guess. What next? Stay close. And then we should be fine because we'll be able to take him out with Draconic Aura. Yes. I'll have Barst with a spur attack. The enemy. And that is gonna be my second Inferno solution using Brave Lin and Barst with absolutely no skeletons on any of these units. Now let's move on to my third Inferno solution, which does not have a Brave Lin. So this is going to be my extra solution with Reinhardt. I know that a lot of people do have him because he can appear at 3 star and 4 star AT, and he's been in the game for a very long time, and he's absolutely amazing for clearing up um, these kinds of maps and in game content. And you can upgrade any kind of Reinhardt as long as he's not minus attack IV. IVs don't really matter for him as long as he's not minus attack. That's his main stat. And uh, the only thing is that I've got a bit of Skeletons on this team, but all from 3 star units. And that too only on Reinhardt. So I've got Deathblow 2, Swordbreaker 1, and Drawback from 3 star units. And that is pretty much it. And then I've got Olivia with no Sacred Seal, with her vanilla skill set, and Narcian here uh, for taking on that Lance Flyer and Legendary Ike with Quick Repose Sacred Seal. So let's begin. Make sure the order of your team is same as me before you enter the map because that can definitely affect the AI movement. And uh, if you do not have Legendary Ike, then you can just have any other Red Distant Counter unit, I'm pretty sure. And uh, you can even use someone like Adult Tiki actually because Ike does not need to do a lot of work on this map. He just needs to take out like green units on this map and that is pretty much it. And uh, Reinhardt does the most amount of job. I won't lose. So let's begin. This is actually a neutral IV Reinhardt. But like I said, you can just have any other IV Reinhardt as long as he's not minus attack. Let's go. Alright, so Understood. let's have. Sure. Watch this. I'm gonna be putting Narcian on the left side of the map because we have got this archer and he's constantly gonna be following Narcian because he is a yes. flying unit and he does most amount of damage to him. So that's why I can use my Narcian to manipulate the movement of this archer. Okay. And you can just go. use drawback 
The reason why I'm using drawback is because reposition is just too rare. So that's why I thought I might as well use drawback. Um, a more common skill because it is on more units. And here, we're just going to be putting Narsin in the range of this Lance Flyer. I won't lose. Understood. And everyone else is going to be out of the range. Narsin does not have enough power, so he does not take out this Lance Flyer. So that delays Let's the go. reinforcement by one turn. And we can take out that guy and just have Reinhardt over here. So I'm using his default AoE special. It's pretty good actually for this kind of in-game content for blowing up these inflated units who have got really high HP. Um, so that's why. And let's just have Ike over here. He just needs to take care of this Green Cavalier. So that's why I'm saying he's definitely replaceable by other Red Distant Counter units. Or even by Adult Tiki uh, who has got Lightning Breath. And here, uh, what I can do is uh, just attack Understood. the sword fighter and take him out. What next? Use dance and also take out this red mage. Let's go. So Reinhardt is doing fantastic and what here, this lance, uh, not lance, this axe cavalier is definitely going to be attacking your Olivia. Unless your Olivia has got Triangle Adept or Ruby Sword, then he's definitely not going to be attacking her. And he's going to be picking up your other red unit. Um, what next? Very well. So now we can just attack this guy. And we can up this Axe Cavalier a bit for Ike. Okay. Use our AU Special. And he's exactly at the range where we can take him out with Ike. I guess you can even have Axe Breaker on your Ike if he's something like minus attack. And here, we'll just have Ike take care of Hector. Let's go. Yes. Understood. And that is going to be my third Infernal Solution using Reinhardt. Um, let me know if you have any sort of trouble in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, for the solution, Ike is definitely replaceable by other units because his job is to just take care of the green units. And uh, let's move on to the Lunatic Solution. For the Lunatic Difficulty, I'm going to be using this team of free to play units. You just have to give your legendary Ike speed plus one secret seal so that he does not get doubled by this uh, both fighter. Here on the Lunatic Difficulty because he does have Darting Blow. And all other units have got their base kit. They did not have any sort of Sacred Seals. So let's begin. Here we do not have that Sword Flyer. And the stats are not inflated by that much. And Ursula does a pretty good job here. So we're just going to be having Ike in the range of this Bow Fighter. And Green Cavalier. And I'll be putting Ursula over here because this guy has got Rider's Bane. So he's going to be following my Ursula and going in this direction. Okay. And that's what I want. Alright, so Ursula can naturally double these Cavaliers on the Lunatic Difficulty. And you can just shoot down this guy. Okay. This Green Cavalier is going to be coming up for my Olivia because she cannot counter attack. And here I can recover a lot of HP by attacking this guy. Alright, so this guy is pretty low on HP. So this green mana heat is going to spawn. Uh, she spawns after we take out that bow fighter on this map. And I can have... Reese take out this... Axe Cavalier. If your Olivia is minus resistance or minus HP IV, then she will need HP plus 3 Sacred Seal. I apologize because I forgot to mention that before. Um... 
So let's just take out this guy with our AoE special. And I can just take care of this mana Keat. And I'll be back at full HP with this Aether. So that's amazing. And... I won't lose. I guess... Yeah, I'll just put Ike in the range of Hector. He will not be able to take out Hector from here. He's gonna survive with 3 HP. Can attack this Lance Fighter. But he's gonna face Fang's Justice from Ursula, and down he goes. Alright, All right. so we can just charge up our special and finish off this. As you wish. Lance Armor Unit, yeah, not really, I guess. <laughs> he lives with 1 HP, which is definitely a disgrace. Uh, Clarice does finish him off. Yes. Fine. I'll have Ursula finish him off. And that is going to be my Lunatic and Inferno solutions. Like I said, if you have any kind of trouble, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to help you. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.